GTII within four cents of our bearish target. What does that mean for the price action? Well, let's go ahead and find out within this video. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with a GTII technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining the trading community called RCAB in Discord. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right into the charts. Okay, so we are looking at GTII on the four hour here, and we were looking at... Uh, a right, actually a right angle. This could have been arguably a right angle triangle or uh, an ascending, uh, uh, an ascending triangle, right? So we, uh, we actually were able to take the price objective via this, uh, this yellow trend line from the breakout point to the hypotenuse of the triangle. And uh, it actually gave us a target of a dollar, let's see, a dollar nine. And today's low, you can actually see the candle uh, data here. So you're going to look on the L. And if we hover over it, you see that L says 113. So we are literally just a few cents away from the price objective of the of the formation itself. So uh, we, we, I honestly do see a, a massive bounce here. This is good. Buy pressure is starting to come in. But I I mean, if I'm speaking in in discretionary measure measures in uh, uh, maybe some candle analysis here, this could just be a short term dead cat bounce so that we can be able to fulfill uh, not only the dollar nine, but in the following chart, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it's actually uh, this one right over here, the five day chart that we actually pulled up so that we can actually fulfill the $1.03 uh, newly converted resistance into support so that we can validate a support before continuing on to the upside. Okay, so you are looking at $1.03, which is also very, very confluent with the one spot 272 at $1.03 as well. So this could be a very relevant area of, of, uh, of support. So let's go ahead and pull up some moving averages to see if we have anything around that area. So, uh, okay, so th th there is a range uh, between the 200-day moving average and and the one dollar and three level of the of the one spot two seven two Fibonacci ratio. So this is our support range right in here. There is a potential to where we can actually wick down to the to the two hundred day moving average, using it as support, thus uh, reclaiming the outside of this, and then confirming the newly uh, and validating, sorry, and then validating our newly converted resistance into then support of the. Uh, descending channel. So the reason why I'm saying that there is the strong likelihood that we can confirm this before continuing on to the upside is because of this. I talk about the golden rule of three very often. Uh, so let's see. We have a test number one, two, three, followed by a capitulation event and a true breakout of test four. If you've noticed, none of these candles have come back to test our newly converted resistance and support, which is something that I've been saying from like all the way up here. Okay, so in technical terms, we do have to do that. We have to come back here and, I mean, it doesn't always happen like like it's a like it's a law, it's, it's a rule, but rules get broken, right? So um, there is a likelihood that we can actually come back and test this before continuing on to the upside. Let's look at the statistical metrics now. Um, this is volatility, new viewers, new listeners, this is volatility you're looking at represented by this indicator, BBWP. Volatility is direction neutral. Uh, we get a bias for direction, pairing it with a stochastic momentum or a momentum-based indicator, okay? So in this case, um, the indicator uh, stochastic momentum has been back tested alone, you know, by me. I've actually back tested this by hand. And out of 11 total iterations throughout the entire trading history of GTII on the three day chart, uh, we have uh, 10 correctly guessed uh, to the upside out of 11. So that gives us a 90 spot, 90%. Uh, accuracy to the upside just based on this indicator itself. It is suggesting a continuation on to, uh, to the downside, which is confluent of what we were speaking of before, to coming down to the range of the 200-day moving average uh, and the uh, one spot 272 at 103. So this range it could be likely the area where we're going to find a bounce. And uh, <clears throat> the stochastic momentum is suggesting uh, such move to the downside. Now, what I am liking is, is that 
the criteria that I actually did for back testing the the uh, volatility versus momentum profile is anytime that we have expanded into extreme levels, which I consider to be the 90 percentile or anything beyond this red uh, trend line here, I've taken note of the iteration's upside thrust, the duration of the iteration, and the amount of times that volatility versus momentum have guessed the asset's direction to the upside correctly versus incorrectly. Okay, so in that back test, we actually did come up with a very interesting metric in which it could be in play, actually, and I will explain how. Out of 11 total iterations, the the uh, uh, the BBWP ver volatility versus momentum have guessed the upside seven times out of the 11 times, giving us an average upside accuracy of 68 spots, 63 percent with an average upside thrust of a massive 3,200 percent to the upside over the span of just over a month. This is proof of work. OK, so the way that I'm seeing that this is now can be validated is the fact that we can continue our path to the way down, thus testing the range that we're talking about right back here. Uh, sorry, this one, the, the range right here. So by that time, we can actually be again into fully expansive critical volatility levels. And this could be actually down at the oversold percentile. We actually can use terminology like that because it's very similar to an RSI. So we can we can literally make the ascent into uh, critical volatility and make the descent uh, make the descent here into oversold percentile, thus correcting to the upside and then starting a move of a contraction phase to the downside versus momentum suggesting upside. In that in that criteria, if it meets that criteria, we can actually apply this massive move to the upside, which could be very much in confluence or in accordance with the amount of selling that there has been. This can only load a stronger move to the upside. Okay, so which makes me feel that probably someone, someone somewhere knows something about GTII that's going to propel this thing to the upside. I'm not following fundamentals in this whatsoever. So I just, I, I am a, I am a systematic uh, short-term base trader. I study only movement. I, I study momentum. I study, I study volatility, candle analysis, theories, okay? And also different strategies. So now the... The RSI is suggesting on a 30 minute time frame a continuation to the upside, but uh, for the new viewers, this is the RSI properties. These are the RSI properties. Okay, so you're looking at one, two, three, four zones, one, two, three, four blown up for you so that you can be able to follow along. Okay, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Okay, so now the 30 minute is entering, I'm sorry, it's suggesting upside, but we have to keep in mind that it's very much in the grips of the bear strength percentile. So, and also we're in the deep areas of the bear strength. When we're in these areas here, we are likely to be gravitated back down into the oversold percentile. Okay, so now let's look at the buy hourly. Uh, it's going to be like this. The buy hourly is suggesting an upside move as well. Um, now, we do have, this is an obstacle here. We do have to cross the uh, the moving average represented by this pink line. We do have to cross it. It can serve as a form of uh, resistance to continue on to the way down. But another thing to notice here is, is that we, the buy hourly has now printed an all time low. This is a critical, critical, uh, oversold percentile that we're reversing from. This may not be done. This red line was our previous iteration, all time low. Now we've, uh, since made another historical low. Okay. So this is potentially starting to correct for us to find an upside. Now the six hour is also from a critical oversold percentile and also in historical lows and suggesting a possible upside continuation. The ones that we should give credit to uh, are the daily, uh, the daily and up. Okay. So now the daily is suggesting an aggressive downside continuation. So what I can say is that we may be able to find uh, potentially a half a session to a, a whole session of green for GTII before it uh, comes back down into eventually realizing what we're talking about here. Okay, so there, there is a likelihood to where we can come back up and test the 100-day moving average at 149, followed by the 50-day moving average at 175. 
uh, before continuing on to the downside. There is also the potential to where this uh, th this five day candle is going to close in one day, 19 hours. So there is a potential to where we can actually come back up and test our newly converted support into now resistance before coming back down here. So there could be a chance to actually remove some risk at the $1.97 area, which is uh, very close to our one spot 618 at about 212. So 212 to uh, discretionarily speaking, uh, 192 to 212 would be a range to potentially remove risk. But then also keep in mind that the 50 day moving average is at 174. The 100 is at 150. We do have these forms of resistance before we can make that uh, test of the newly converted support into now resistance before continuing on to the downside and eventually finding a real bounce from this area. The next bounce or the upside that we're facing right Right here you guys a lot of people will get trapped this this is a bull trap okay if we do start making our ascent and we start approaching the 190 180 170 level very very likely we can find a bull trap situation okay we, i i am still looking for downside i am looking for this area to be tested okay so uh with that said i think this is a pretty good place for me to leave off the video if you have any questions or concerns don't hesitate to reach out to me i'll make sure to leave the links in the description below for you to consider joining the trading community in discord called rcab and uh, visit me on twitter say hi but with that said i wish you a good night and i wish you uh luck for the next trading days okay you guys i'll catch you at the bell manana adios